General Hospital mother-son duo Laura and Lucky finally reunited. More than a decade has passed since fans have seen Lucky Spencer on General Hospital. Jonathan Jackson will be reprising the role of Lucky and will be reunited with his on-screen mother, Laura Spencer, portrayed by Jeannie Francis. The actor recently talked about what it was like to return to the soap opera and what's next for the character. Read on to see what he revealed. Jonathan Jackson has Jeannie Francis to thank for his return to General Hospital. He recently spoke with Steve Burton on his podcast, The Daily Trauma. Steve pointed out that Jonathan has a big cheerleader in Jeannie Francis. Steve said that he was excited to see Jonathan and Jeannie work together again. The mother-son duo on the soap opera has been a fan favorite part of the show. After 10 plus years apart, it will be great to see them side by side once again. He was asked if Jeannie Francis' current run on GA influenced his decision to return to the beloved soap. Jonathan replied, Honestly, that has a huge part in it for me. Longtime viewers will remember that Jonathan Jackson first joined the cast as Lucky Spencer in 1993. At the time, the actor was only 11 years old. He left General Hospital in 1999 to later return in 2009 for another two year stint. Jonathan opened up about what it was like to return to the daytime soap opera in 2010. He said that it was incredible to return to the set and work with Anthony Giri, who played the role of his father, Luke, once again. I don't want to sound corny or sentimental, but it's a very special thing about this medium that you can work with someone when you're 11 to 17 years old and then work with them again when you're 28, he told Steve Burton. But Jeannie wasn't there for those couple years. I got to work with her very briefly in 2015 for those few episodes, but I always thought, man, I would love to be able to really get to work with her again. That definitely came into play. Lucky and Laura have not gotten to have any kind of relationship on screen since Jonathan Jackson was about 17 or 18 years old. That was when the actor first left General Hospital in 1999. Now, the pair will finally get to be reunited and fans will get to see the mother-son do embrace each other at last. Right now, Lucky Spencer's return date to General Hospital hasn't been announced. However, he is planning on sticking around on the soap for the long run, which is great news for fans. In the heart of Port Charles, where the lives of its inhabitants intertwine like threads in a grand tapestry, a reunion of extraordinary significance was unfolding. It had been years since Laura Spencer and her son, Lucky Spencer, had been in each other's presence. Their lives had taken divergent paths, fraught with trials and tribulations that had tested their strength and resolve. But now, against all odds, fate had conspired to bring them together once more within the walls of General Hospital. The hospital corridors buzzed with their usual frenetic energy, doctors and nurses hurrying from one room to another attending to the myriad needs of their patients. Amidst this organized chaos, Laura stood at the reception desk, her heart pounding with a mixture of hope and apprehension. She had received a call earlier that morning, a call that had shattered the quiet routine of her life and set in motion a chain of emotions she had long buried. Laura Spencer, she had said when the nurse asked for her name. Her voice was steady, but her hands trembled imperceptibly. The nurse nodded, checking something on her computer screen before gesturing for Laura to follow her. They walked down the familiar corridors, past rooms filled with beeping monitors and hushed conversations, until they reached a private area reserved for family consultations. Lucky, Laura whispered to herself as she stood outside the closed door, mentally preparing herself for the moment she had dreamed of for so long. Memories flooded her mind, Memories of a young boy with bright eyes and a mischievous smile. Memories of laughter and tears shared in equal measure. She took a deep breath, steadying herself before she finally pushed open the door. Inside, the room was quiet save for the soft hum of medical equipment. And there, lying on the hospital bed, was her son. His face was drawn and pale, lines of worry etched around his eyes despite his youth. But when he looked up and saw her standing there, a flicker of recognition and relief crossed his features. Laura, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. It was enough. In an instant, 
years of separation melted away, leaving only the raw, unfiltered bond between mother and son. Lucky, Laura replied, her voice thick with emotion. She crossed the room in hurried steps, her arms open wide. Lucky met her halfway, and they embraced, a tight, desperate embrace that spoke volumes of the years lost and the love that endured through it all. They held each other for what seemed like an eternity, neither willing to let go for fear that the moment might slip away like sand through their fingers. When they finally pulled apart, tears streaked down both their faces, mirroring the profound relief and joy they felt in each other's presence once more. How are you feeling? Laura asked softly, brushing a strand of hair away from Lucky's forehead. He managed a weak smile, the lines on his face easing slightly under her touch. Better now, he admitted, his voice still hoarse from days spent in uncertainty. I wasn't sure if I'd ever see you again. Laura's heart clenched at his words, the reality of this illness hitting her with renewed force. She had received the news of Lucky's hospitalization with a mix of disbelief and dread, rushing to his side without a moment's hesitation. Now, seeing him here frail yet resilient, she knew that their reunion was nothing short of a miracle. I'm here now, Laura reassured him, her voice steady despite the storm of emotions raging inside her. And I'm not going anywhere. Lucky nodded, a shadow of guilt passing over his features. I'm sorry for everything, Mom. For all the pain I've caused. Laura shook her head gently, cupping his face in her hands. None of that matters now, Lucky. All that matters is that we're together. They talked for hours that day, catching up on lost time and sharing stories of their lives apart. Laura learned of the challenges Lucky had faced the battles fought and the victories won, as well as the moments of despair that had threatened to overwhelm them. In turn, Lucky listened as Laura recounted her own struggles and triumphs, her unwavering love for him a guiding light through every trial. As the hours stretched into evening, the hospital staff discreetly left them alone, understanding the sacredness of their reunion. It was a moment of healing, a chance for mother and son to reaffirm their bond and forge ahead together stronger than ever. Days turned into weeks and Lucky's health slowly improved under the watchful care of the hospital staff and the unwavering support of his mother. Laura never left his side, her presence a source of comfort and strength during his recovery. Together, they navigated the uncertainties of life, drawing closer with each passing day. And when the day finally came for Lucky to leave the hospital, his hand tightly clasped in Laura's, they walked out into the sunlight with hearts full of gratitude and hope. Their journey was far from over, but they faced the future with renewed courage and a deep-seated belief in the power of love to heal wounds and restore what had been lost. In the weeks and months that followed, Laura and Lucky rebuilt their relationship with a newfound appreciation for each other. They laughed together, cried together, and faced life's challenges with unwavering determination. Their reunion had not only brought them back together but had also reaffirmed their bond as mother and son, a bond that nothing could ever break. And so, in the bustling corridors of General Hospital, where lives intersect and stories unfold, Laura and Lucky Spencer stood as a testament to the enduring power of love and the resilience of the human spirit. Their reunion was more than a mere coincidence. It was a testament to the strength of their bond and the unyielding hope that had carried them through even the darkest of times.